And we're back to CapCut. Let me show you a quick and simple rewind effect. We use this footage right here. Let's say up to this point and then we want to rewind it. I use the split tool B and delete the rest. Now I select this clip, Ctrl C, Ctrl V to copy. And you want to select this copy now and then you can see the tool options. One is called reverse. It might take some time, I've already done it so that we can go ahead quicker. But once it says reverse completed, you can use it. Copy paste yet again the original, so the forward clip. And what we've got now is this, it goes forward and it gets rewinded. And here in the end it gets forward again, this is usually what you want to have. Now we use this overlay, I'm going to link to it in the description below, it's from YouTube, you can download it and use it. Be careful though, the first part is a forward overlay, and only the second half is a rewind, so watch the icon in the top right. I use the split tool, get rid of the first part, and now we only have a rewind. I position the slider where I need it, right here. And then I reposition my overlay. You can see the speed, the duration of these two clips isn't equal, isn't the same. So we need to fix that, but before we do, we go to blend for this top clip, this overlay, and use a blend mode of screen. In this overlay there's an audio effect inbuilt, so we don't have to add it. But as I've said, we need to fix the duration. To do that, we can either fix the duration for the overlay and make this longer by slowing it down. It's going to mess a little bit with the audio. So if you can get away with adjusting the speed for your clip below, then do that. In my case, that's not a huge problem. I'm just going to speed this one up to make it shorter. Let me go to oh, maybe 1.8. And if I play it now, it works perfectly. So as I've said, link to this overlay is in the description below. On this, I can use it to create a rewind effect. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.